Hello, I'm Johora Singaporeensis, a Singapore freshwater crab, but you can call me Joe. I'm so small, I doubt you've seen me, but I bet you've seen my big blue buddy, the ocean. In this video, I want to talk about marine protected areas, what they are and why they're important. Our big blue buddy protects and cares for us in so many ways. To do all these wonderful things, Buddy also needs care and protection from threats mostly linked to human activities like overfishing, pollution and mining. That's why marine protected areas were created. Known simply as MPAs, they are managed areas of the ocean devoted to the care and protection of biodiversity, natural resources and cultural heritage. A bit like a life jacket for Big Blue Buddy. MPAs come in different shapes and sizes. From marine parks to coral reefs, mud flats to mangroves, seagrass beds to salt marshes, and even shipwrecks. In most MPAs, activities such as mining or commercial fishing are restricted. Some MPAs are so special, they're designated no-take zones, which means fishing isn't allowed at all. Sadly, although Big Blue Buddy covers about 71% of the Earth's surface, less than 10% of that is protected. What's more, only 3% are no-take zones, like Atauro Island in Timor-Leste. Atauro boasts more than 600 different marine species. It's a very special area of the ocean, where two-thirds of the world's whale and dolphin species and three of the world's marine turtle species can all be seen swimming together. Many of Atauro's islanders rely on Blue Buddy for food and income. But before it was protected, the high demand on natural resources meant Buddy was suffering. Reefs were destroyed and fish stocks dwindled. In 2015, Conservation International started working with local communities and other conservation groups to create MPAs by and for the people. Dive enthusiasts were attracted to visit Atauro's magnificent marine sites. This created a demand for other services, such as hotels, restaurants and transport, and provided the locals with alternative jobs. The result was a resounding success. In a few years, the reefs were restored and fish stocks were replenished. It was a win-win for everyone. Closer to our own shores, you might have visited Sisters Island's Marine Park, which was created in 2014 to protect Singapore's stunning coral reefs, sandy shores and seagrass meadows. The Marine Park is home to 250 species of hard corals, 100 species of reef fish, rare and endangered species of seahorses, clams, sponges, and other magical marine life. It's also the site of Singapore's first turtle hatchery, where like Atauro Island, tiny turtle hatchlings can incubate, hatch, and scramble out to sea in safety. You can help our Blue Buddy by visiting and exploring Singapore's marine areas responsibly and learning more about them by becoming citizen scientists and reporting sightings of rare or endangered marine species, or by simply telling your friends and family about the amazing things Blue Buddy does for us, so they too will protect and care for Buddy.